I'm Mina McCary. I'm an investor radiology attending at The Ohio State University Alexa Medical Center. I also serve as the director for scholarly activity and research and our inpatient uh, service as well. My story is that uh, I did my training and uh, medical school at The Ohio State University as well. And uh, I was really lucky because there's been a lot of mentors in that uh, uh, school and, and institution where they really uh, diverted my attention to an IR uh, early on. And uh, since then I've been hooked. <laughs> the rest is history. What is it that draws you to IR the most? I love IR and what excites me about IR is the problem solving and the ability to help patients um, in you know, unique and creative ways. Uh, I love that uh, we can actually give patients hope and a lot of times we patients don't have options and being creative and, and I love the variety of IR. I love the depth of IR at the same time. I love the innovation. I love the patient care. I love all of it. What exactly is your practice setting? So I'm an academic interventional radiologist. And what I love about my setting is that I have the ability to do uh, inpatient cases, outpatient cases. Uh, we're very clinical practice. So I round on my patients. We um, have an outpatient clinic. Uh, we have a growing inpatient service. And uh, we also cover community hospitals. So we have the best of everything. We also uh, have uh, diagnostic imaging as part of our work. So we do interventional and diagnostic and clinical and, and everything. What would you say the bulk of your cases are? What, what kind of cases do you do on a day to day? So I have a variety of, of my practice is, is very broad. So uh, we have uh, liver interventions and tips and BRTOs and BATOs. Uh, one of the things that areas of my expertise and interest are venous intervention. So I do a lot of uh, complex venous reconstructions, uh, DVT interventions, filters. Um, interventional oncology is another area of interest of mine. And, and uh, we have the ability to uh, do uh, the whole spectrum of catheter directed like TACE and K and Y90. And we also do uh, ablation uh, interventions. Um, and we have the whole, whole spectrum of general IR in terms of bleeding and, and uh, uh, urgent cases, vascular access, G-tubes, all that stuff. And then also uh, we have a very robust uh, women's health and men's health. So we do a lot of uh, uterine fiber embolizations, prosthetic artery embolizations. Recently I've introduced genicular artery embolization for arth knee arthritis. So um, it's a very robust and, and uh, broad practice. What would you say your favorite cases are? I find joy in every case. So I even if it's something quote unquote, a simple or an easy case, I enjoy vascular access. I enjoy drains. I enjoy bread and butter IR. And it has to do with just the, you know, being able to take care of a patient, have an impact, whether this is a small procedure, or a big procedure and rounding on them and, and, and being part of their you know, true physician team. And that is very rewarding to me. What portion of your day-to-day -day job would you say is involves diagnostic reads? Well, as an interventional radiologist, uh, you know, we work up every patient, we look at their imaging. So we're always looking at imaging, but in terms of dedicated time, I would say 10 to 20% of my time, we're looking at uh, we're reading non-invasive imaging or CTAs, MRAs, CAT scans, things like that. What do you think makes a good interventional radiologist? A good interventional radiologist is a hard worker, is a problem solver, is somebody who's good at diagnostic imaging, but also they can translate that into uh, technical skills. And above all, a good interventional radiologist is a good doctor, which means we care for patients way more than just doing it beyond doing a procedure. So um, there are patients that I round or I contribute to their care, whether it's medical management or follow-ups or uh, whatnot. And, and, and that, that care and that consultation and collaboration and, and all that work is way more important in my book than just a simply, you know, doing the actual procedure. It's the whole gamut. And being a good IR is, is somebody who appreciates all that spectrum. What do you think that people that want to get into interventional radiology should know before they pursue it? They should know that it's an exciting specialty. They should know that the future is bright. Uh, IR is just an area that I feel blessed to be part of. Um, they also should know it's a lot of hard work. They should know that there's a lot of problem solving, there's, there's call, there's taking care of patients, and it's not just a job in my opinion, it's a calling. So if they have the right passion and they have, and they're, you know, have the interest and it's a good match, I think they will have an amazing career in IR.
What's it like living and working in Columbus, Ohio? Columbus is great. I think it's a it's an amazing city. It's one of the top uh, cities in the U.S. for young professionals. We have multiple healthcare systems. Um, it's a medium-sized city, so it's not too large, not too small. Cost of living is good. Traffic is good. It's growing. We have all four seasons. Um, I think it's a great place, and I'm really happy to be here. Do you have any tips for people uh, early in their career or residents or even medical students that want to get into IR? Always patients first. Uh, if you always have the patients first, you can never go wrong in any decision that you're thinking through. And, um, and you know, don't be afraid to ask questions, to, to explore new areas, to problem solve, to think outside the box. That's the fun of the specialty. But the future is bright and, um, and I can't wait for, for uh, for you to have a great journey. How much sleep do you get? Oh, uh, that's a sign of weakness to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look very serious, but yeah, you know, like in real life, you know how I roll. Yeah. <laughs>